everybody, it's me, Charlotte. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a fantastic day so far today. Today's video, we're going to be talking about this and this. And if you don't know what these are, these are 2019 calendars. And one's for knitting and one's for crochet. And basically, they give you patterns daily. So I think that's kind of cool. I know we've all seen the daily pattern or the daily calendars for like inspirational quotes or, you know, learn a word a day. This is knitting and crochet. It's a pattern a day. So I was pretty excited when I found these. I found these on um, Amazon. You can find the link in the description below if you want to check them out for yourself. They're very inexpensive for what they are. I think this here says 100 plus patterns for the knitting, 100 plus patterns for the crochet, plus some bonus patterns. That's kind of nice. And like I said, they're really inexpensive. This was 10 bucks. This was $11.50. So not bad for a calendar that's going to give you over a hundred patterns. So yeah, I was really excited. I thought I'd share it with you guys. So before we get into it real quick, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I can't thank you enough. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do so now and always check out the links in the description below. There's so much down there. And if you want to check these out for yourself, there's links to these down there too. So, okay, let's just get into this. Let's start with knitting. Of course, we're gonna start with knitting first. Let's see what they have to offer. I'm gonna bring you guys in a little closer. This is what it comes in. It's a nice little cardboard box. I've already flipped this up and kind of made this little cardboard fold thing so it sits on my desk nicely, um, but it gives you instructions on how to do that. On the front, it has some little sample projects of what they kind of offer. And it just says, new fun designs, knitting, let's just jump in and see what the good stuff is. So when you open it, like I said, this folds so it sits on your desk. Nice. We're going to just take all this out and see what we have. So this is what's inside. It's a daily calendar. And I'll tell you, the paper isn't very thick. It's just like, I don't know, like magazine paper, maybe like a thick magazine cover paper. These are just editor notes. Here's some abbreviations, so if you're a beginner, or maybe you're not a beginner, but you don't know what some of these abbreviations stand for in a pattern, you always have this little card here that'll tell you what they mean. So that's nice. Now they have the pattern index card. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, um, so basically if you're looking for blankets and afghans, these are the dates blankets and afghans patterns can be found. Baby, they have bags and purses, they have cowls. They have so much. They have hats, you know, that's my favorite. Headbands, holiday. They have scarves, shawls and wraps, slippers, socks, sweaters, and toys. So they have, oh, well, they have more. <laughs> they have home miscellaneous. They have kids, kitchen, gloves, and mittens, and wristlets. They have pets and scarves. So they have a lot of different pattern categories. So that's that's nice. Um, here are the skill levels for knitting. They have beginner, easy, intermediate, and experienced, and they tell you each what all that means. And here is Monday, December 31st to Tuesday, January 1st. And here is the first pattern, and it's a hat pattern, my favorite. Um, and it's called the Ice is Nice Hat. And it tells you that it, the skill level is intermediate. It tells you how big it's going to be. It tells you what kind of yarn to use. And if you don't want to use this particular yarn, which we probably don't have anyway, it tells you it is a worsted weight. So you'll know what kind of yarn to use. It tells you the needle size and any other materials that you will need. So, and then on the back is the pattern. So it seems like a really easy pattern to read. I don't want to keep it on screen too long. I might get in trouble for that. I don't know. Um, it seems like a pretty easy pattern to read. Love that. And then we have dishcloth. We have a cowl or a neck warmer. And this is a part one of two. So this is for January 4th, January 5th, and January 6th. So here's the neck warmer. And then on January 7th and January 8th, you have the headband. And here's another one, part one of two for January 9th and January 10th. And it looks like a little wrap. Not little, but a nice little wrap. And of course, it tells you all the information you're going to need. And that pattern goes all the way to January 13th. So it gives you time to get things done. So I really do love that because you could actually probably follow along with this. Here you have a button scarf or cow. Very nice. Tells you the skill level. I mean, we'll just flip through some of these patterns here so you guys can see. 
but I think it's a really neat idea. I've never seen this before. Have you guys ever seen one of these before? If you have, let me know in the comments below. I could be just late to the party. This could have been around for like ever. I don't know. I've never seen it. But you have tons of different patterns. Very nice. Ooh, another hat. Very, very nice. They have a wide range of different things. So, yeah. And again, like I said, it's just like... It's just paper. It's like magazine paper is what it reminds me of. But it would be nice in a binder. You could put it in a binder. It would be fine. Very nice and neat idea if you want to, you know, if you're always constantly looking for something to knit and you just want to knit something, you have a lot of things to reference to. And there's a lot of patterns here. I think that is just such a neat idea. So that was the knitting one. I think it's great. I really like it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you think it's a good idea or a bad idea. I'm like a very impatient person when it comes to patterns and knitting. I want to get things done quick, 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 quick. And if they don't go fast enough, then I kind of get bored and burnt out. But I think this will keep me, keep me occupied. Now here's the crochet one. Again, pretty much the same thing. Let's open it up and see what they have to offer. I'm just going to take this out and we'll just bring you guys in a little close. So pretty much, like I said, same thing, editor's notes, abbreviation for crocheting. So if you're new to crochet or you just don't know some of these abbreviations, it'll help you through a pattern. It even tells you how to do a certain stitch. So that's kind of nice. And then here we have Afghans, baby, bags and purses, coasters, cowls. They have dollies, they have coffee cozies, uh, dolls, mittens, hats, holidays. They have home, kids, kitchen, miscellaneous, motifs, um, pets and scarves, shawls, wraps, stuffed toys and sweaters and tops. You have beginner, easy, intermediate and experienced. It tells you what those mean for crochet. And then you have here Monday, December 31st to Tuesday, January 1st. It's a crocheted hat, very cute. It tells you it's an easy skill level, tells you the kind of yarn you're gonna need, tells you everything you need to do that. Pretty much just like the knitting one, but here are some of the patterns we'll flip through real quick. There's literally a pattern in here for every skill level. There's easy, beginner, I mean, and you can even advance your skills. That's what I think is kind of cool too, because you can start out with easy, go to beginner, then maybe try to go into like experienced or intermediate and work your way up. So I think that is very nice. But here's just some of, those are cute little mittens. Towel holder. Little blanket. It's for a doll. But I just think little scarf for a doll. A little baby sleeping thing. It says doll sleeping bag and pillow, but I'm sure it would work for a baby. Little hat. That's cute. Little newborn mountain hat. Again, the same kind of paper. It's like magazine paper. They have stuff for the dog. Some flowers. A basket. And again, the patterns are all on the back. I think they're pretty easy to read. Again, if you need help learning abbreviations, they have a card for that. What I like to... Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. I might try that one. Tells you how much yarn you're going to need for each color and what kind of color or what kind of yarn. Very nice. So what do you guys think of this idea? I think it's kind of cool myself. I'm kind of excited. Coasters. I'm not sure what that is. Amethyst bandana. That's pretty. That's cute. Nice little wrap or a shawl. So yeah, I th ooh, that's pretty too. That looks really, really pretty. Can you guys see that? That's like a woven, I don't know. I think my lighting is kind of not picking up very well, but that is really pretty. I like that. Oh, that's a cute little bunny. Carrot. I know you guys are probably like bored looking through all this, but I'm excited. <laughs> I can't open it. I'm sorry. That's a neat hat. That's Tunisian. So there's even Tunisian crochet in here too as well. So that's cool. There's a little sweater. Pull 
poncho. That's cute. That's cute too. But yeah, as you can see, there's tons more, you guys. Like, there are tons more. I think it's a really neat idea. So if you're into both knitting and crocheting, or maybe you're just into crochet, or maybe you're just into knit, I think this is something that can keep you occupied throughout the year. I think it's a neat idea. Um, let me know what you guys think. Again, there'll be links to these both in the description below. Check them out if you want. Remember, they're not that expensive. And if you're looking for a gift for your grandma, your aunt, your mom, your dad, your uncle, your cousins, your friends, I think this is a really nice gift, especially they'd have to be into knitting and crocheting because you don't really want to get someone something that's knitting and crochet related if they're not into knitting and crochet. But if they are, this would make a really great gift. So keep that in mind. If you want to check it out, again, links in the description below. They're not that expensive. I think it's a great idea. Like I said, I may be late to the party. I don't know. Have these been around for a while? I have no clue. But I'm pretty happy that I found them. So check them out for yourself. Um, I'm really excited to get started on some of these hat patterns and some of these blanket patterns or afghan pattern. That was my video for today. I really think this is a neat idea. Please check it out. Let me know what you guys think. So thank you for subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so now. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when I upload new videos. There are always links in the description below for lots of things. Check those out if you want. And that's it. So until next time, I hope you all have a super wonderful, fabulous day. Happy knitting. Happy crocheting. Bye.